world, or as it was called in the US, Out of This World, or in Japan, known as Outer World, is a 1991 cinematic action adventure platform from Eric Chahi and published by Delphine Software. It started life on the PC and has been converted to so many systems. In this video, we are not covering the 20th anniversary version, so that means no Wii U, 3DS, PlayStation 3 and 4, Xbox One, Switch or Vita versions. The Mac and a few others are also missing due to time constraints in putting this video together. Okay, so let's talk about another world. The game tells the story of Lester, a young scientist who, as a result of an experiment gone wrong, finds himself on a dangerous alien world, where he is forced to fight for his survival. The game features a control system where the player must either use a keyboard, joystick or gamepad to make the protagonist run, jump, attack and perform other situation specific actions, such as rocking a cage back and forth. At first, Lester is unarmed, apart from using his feet to kick at small creatures. Later in the game, Lester acquires a laser pistol from one fallen foe. The pistol has three capabilities, a standard fire mode, the ability to create force fields to block enemy fire, and a powerful charge shot that can break through force fields and some walls. Enemies also have the same capabilities, requiring the player to take advantage of the three gun mode and environments to overcome them. Overall, Another World is not the longest game, but it sure is an amazing experience that every gamer should try. Just imagine how amazing this was back in 1991. I know, I was 16 at the time. This game blew me away. The first console port we're going to take a look at is for the Super Famicom or SNES if you prefer. This port was released by Interplay and features quite a few improvements over the original, such as a much more fleshed out soundtrack, higher colour range and a separate jump button. The gameplay is fairly much the same as the PC version, but now with some added slowdown. Yep, the SNES version of Another World slows down in game and on some cutscenes too. The resolution is also cut down making some scenes look a little blockier than they should. Not to mention the game isn't running full screen. This really is a shame because this is one very nice looking port. But it is to be expected, thanks to the slow nature of the SNES CPU. Here we are with the Mega Drive release. 
This version is better than the Super Famicom version in some ways, and worse than others. The good points are that it runs at a speed similar to the PC original. Uh, that's about it. The gameplay is fine, but after playing other ports, it's quite easy to notice the difference in colours used, and some cases lack of. The sound driver is bloody awful too, when it comes to sound effects and music. Thankfully, the speech seems to be on par with the PC original, for the most part. Following on from the Mega Drive, we have the Mega CD. This is the best port so far. It moves really swiftly, giving the cinematics a whole new look and smoothness. The core game looks just like the Mega Drive game for the most part, however, the gameplay is far tougher thanks to the change in enemy AI. Something else that's changed is the audio. Now we have some fantastic tunes and a few new voice samples too. So is this the best version of the original Another World? Well, it does come with the sequel on the same disc, so who knows? Of course, Another World was also ported to 16-bit home computers. This is the Amiga version. As you can see, it looks just as good if not the same as the PC original. It plays just like it too. So all is good in the looks and playability department. Unfortunately, while this game also follows the PC in the sound effects and speech department, it is totally lacking the music. Or at least it is when played from two floppy disks. Which also brings me on to the disk swapping needed. Thankfully, loading isn't too long and it only happens between certain stages, so it's not really too much of a big deal. The Atari ST also got a port. It's very much like the Amiga version. 
pretty much looks the same, sounds the same, plays the same, or does it? Well, no. You see, the ST port has a big problem with slowdown. Every time a sampled sound plays, the game slows down, and since practically every sound effect in this game is a sample, it's always slowing down. I've also noticed quite a few speech samples being cut. This is probably not the best way to play Another World. Here's an interesting one for you. Another World was actually considered for an Atari 8-bit release. I say considered because I can't find any actual box art for the game and this seems to be a very early version. There doesn't seem to be any intro and you can't complete the first stage due to there being no run. Before, we saw the Mega CD port and hinted that it might be the best version so far. Well, here's the 3DO port, which has the speed of the Mega CD version, but now with a facelift. First impressions are good, but the more you play, the more you notice the rough edges. Animation can seem a little janky at times. There also seems to be some glitches with the main character now and then. Thankfully, these are only minor issues, which do not affect the overall enjoyment of the game. So, is this better than the Mega CD release? Well, that's a tough call. On one hand, it looks nicer if you aren't a purist, but on the other hand, I'm not too keen on some of the soundtrack choices. I think this one comes down to personal preference. Take a look at all those versions of Another World running side by side.